Lower the table flat. Expose the supine patient's abdomen, draping the lower abdomen at the suprapubic level. Inspect the skin for scars, striae, dilated veins, or rashes. Inspect the symmetry and contour of the abdomen, and note any peristalsis, pulsations, or masses. Also, observe the contour of the umbilicus to look for signs of inflammation or hernia. Note that for the abdomen, after inspection comes auscultation rather than palpation as in other regional examinations. Palpating prior to auscultation might distort the quality of bowel sounds. Listen to the pitch, quality, and frequency of bowel sounds by placing the diaphragm of the stethoscope gently over each quadrant. Listen for abdominal or femoral bruise. Now I'm going to check your artery as it goes into your leg. And listen for bruise. Next, lightly percuss the abdomen to assess the distribution of tympani and dullness. Now palpate all quadrants of the abdomen using light, then deep palpation and saving painful areas for last. Observe the patient's face closely for indications of tenderness or discomfort. Now percuss the span of the liver. Palpate the liver's edge. Then the spleen to assess its size. Keep his legs straight and bend your leg. This may be a little uncomfortable. Take a breath in. And out. Next, palpate the kidneys. Normally, kidneys are not tender, nor are they often palpable. Now I'm going to check your kidneys. Now, complete your examination of the peripheral vascular system by palpating the popliteal, dorsalis pedis, and posterior tibial arteries. Just flex your knee. Very good. Very good. 